Vlogging collaborations. Um, I want to talk to everybody in this thing, uh, but from a different viewpoint because I think a lot of people get involved in the video side and only the video side, uh, which is basically me talking to you through here. But what I forget is a lot of people are in the same areas, which is the bit I'm going to cover today. If you're in an area where there's a two, three, five, ten vloggers, why not meet up? Why, why not actually go to somewhere quiet? It has to be quiet, otherwise it becomes a pointless exercise. Um, where you can actually discuss your different videos. Um, for example, say I was going along and there's ten vloggers there. I can ask two people to look at my videos. And then everybody asks two people to look at it. So you've got two different viewpoints. Then they everybody makes notes on the videos they've watched. What did they like and what did they dislike? And then you take that along and you can go, audio is too quiet, lighting was no good, um, there's too many distractions in the background, all that sort of stuff. And then go, the audio is very clear. Uh, I love the way the you had the sunset behind you I love the way the uh, the waves crashed against the the shore whatever um, you get the good and the bad because then you sit there and go okay how can we improve it so I mentioned earlier this week somebody's audio is not very good it's not a criticism saying your audio is crap do something about it it's to say a lot of people cannot hear your videos um, in the sense of do something about it and I should have actually explained how to but it was actually in a video so it becomes very long in video but what you should do if your audio is too low or you've got other sound issues and you don't have something like uh, Camtasia you don't have something that can manage the audio itself split them get them into a Movie Maker does this. I think I've done a tutorial on this already. Uh, you get the video, video on the top, audio on the bottom. Cut them. Pull the audio out and throw it into Audacity or Audio City, depends who you talk to, what they call it. Um, you get that to clean up the sound, then you drag it and put it back. You can increase the volume, you can clear out some of the distortion, and then you can put it back in there. That will fix some of your audio issues, even if you've got a cheap webcam now when I say cheap webcam I have cheap webcams it's not a criticism of you my HP laptop is the worst laptop I've ever bought in my life I can honestly say I hate my own laptop so don't take it as a personal criticism it is not if you cannot afford or haven't got another camera it's fine mine's crap too but at the same time if you've got another camera you've got a GoPro you've got a better web webcam or even a mobile phone is better than the crap that my HP camera does on the laptop swap over to it that is the solution use what you've already got don't turn around and go well I can't afford anything to buy anything to replace it you'll have something that's better you I'm sure I'm sure you'll will have but I this mobile phone is pretty good on audio and video so I, I do recommend the Samsung Note and this isn't a brand new one. This is a, I think it's a Note 2. I bought bought this for my wife when I come back from Qatar or Oman. I might can't remember now. But the, the whole point is, it's not the latest model. It doesn't need to be the latest. But that would fix audio. It would also help with the video. Also, if you get stuck, you know, people go, Matt, yours in your room. It's like, well, it's a, it's not my room. It's actually the the bedroom. Um, but the reason I struggle when I go out is like the last videos you heard the waves and the wind <laughs> there is a lot of stuff that distorts my sound um, that's why I do a lot more indoors or in the van or whatever because of the issues with sound um, so I have I have issues as well um, so but going to a collaborative meeting with different vloggers, somebody go, well, what camera are you using? Oh, have you tried doing this? Have you done this? Somebody may have a solution for you. Also, 
people may go, well, I want an intro, but I don't want to... The other one I've got is Movie Maker. Somebody may go, what do you want? I actually do it in my spare time. I'll put one to together for you. Somebody may even do it for free. Or they may just go, go to Fiverr.com and get one for $5. Um, that's the quickest and easiest way of doing it. Um, but there is a lot of things that collaborating can help with. Also, this is the big one that will make sense now. Going out for the day. With going to somewhere like... I'm going to take Cebu uh, because I know Cebu. So, every person that's part of this vlogging group, say there's five people. So, everybody has to come up with a trip. And you have to decide, are you going to do a weekly trip or a monthly trip? Or a bi-weekly? Because it's all relevant on budgets, but I'm a key uh, supporter of not cutting people out because they don't have enough money. So, if, for example, somebody couldn't afford to do it every week, I'll quite happily do it bi-weekly or monthly. I don't care. Um, because I'd rather everybody was part of it rather than going, well, you're too poor to be part of our group. I, I'm, I'm against all that. It's it, it's not what we're about. It's not what I'm about anyway. Um, but anyway, so let's just say we're going to the Basilica for today. So I choose Basilica. Next week, Tom will choose somewhere else, or next month, Tom will choose somewhere else. So we go to Basilica, and we're all going. Different people, different channels. Now, the first thing you can do is say, Tom, you video me, and I'll video you. Because uh, we're going to be here all day anyway, so if I, if I wander around for an hour or two, and then you wander around for an hour or two, it ain't really going to hurt each other. But because you're recording me, and I'm recording you, we get better footage than wandering around with a GoPro stick. So that's one of the first things. Next thing is, Everyone's got a different viewpoint and different reasons for going. Talk Talk Tally, for example, uh, <coughs> Cali, for example, normally travels with his family everywhere. So the family element is going to be a different perspective to my viewpoint. So you've got that thing where it's very likely his family will want to run around, do the, do the bits and pieces, then want to go and eat, uh, because that's what everybody does in the Philippines. Or, and then where you got me that's more interested in the history of it and when it was built and what they've done to it and modified it and etc. And um, a bit more information on the actual location. Uh, not because Tok Tok's doing anything uh, different. Well, it's different because it's a different perspective. It's a family perspective where I know what it's like myself because when I go somewhere, the kids are constantly wanting to do something. You can't spend the same amount of time concentrating on the actual location. You've got all the the kids are the center of the attention, uh, center of attention, regardless of what you're doing. So I understand completely. But also, somebody else may actually do it from a different viewpoint they may be doing it from a photography viewpoint taking different interesting pictures and explaining what they're doing etc so you can have multiple people at the same location and all come back with different material that is all very very interesting but the thing is because you're collaborating as a group where you may only go out and do something once a month or once every six weeks or eight weeks because of financial restraints or whatever you can actually travel with other people and it brings the cost down the other thing is traveling in groups for a safety point of view um, you could also say right i'm going to take control of it for for the, the trip in two months time i want us to be able to go away for a weekend and i'm thinking we go to negros island or something else something that's going to take a couple of days and you turn around and say we'll all do it together um, I want to tell you now because it's going to be two, three months ahead so that we can budget. And I think the budget's going to be this. That will be a nice little road trip video. But those sort of things work really well if you've got the collaboration because it keeps the cost down. But also, you, like I say, everyone's videoing each other and you get a lot of good material. And obviously, you can put it all on your own channels. You know, you separate it out afterwards. Or you use bits and pieces from different peoples. 
because the end video could be completely different depend even with all the footage because when you mix it all together people pick the bits they like there's lots of ways to do it but that's why I think collaboration is important um, because you need to move away from being an individual and well nothing wrong with being an individual but I think you'll get more out of it as a group because you can actually cohabit the same web space and video space and you'll also get that crossover between different um, subscribers if people suddenly say who's that guy there and you go oh this is Tok Tok or this is uh, Chris Lane or whoever and they go quick search YouTube oh he's got his own channel and they start following that channel as well so there's lots of reasons to collaborate and that's why I think this type of collaboration is probably just as if not more important than going what's John's videos what Joe's videos blah 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 you know you actually meeting up and sharing material sharing equipment sharing the brain power and how you did things and how you made it interesting and how you do your audio and all this sort of stuff you improve everybody's um, experience and I think that's an important thing. Thanks for watching.